Are you kidding me? I sold four properties my first year. I made like $20,000, something like that. You made more than me in my first year and you're depressed because your goal was 150,000 when really you're set up now to actually make that 150 your second year. Um, there's a lot of agents who come to me about, you know, just being stuck in the business, you know, just plateauing out, leveling out. They want to take their business to the next level. They just don't know quite how to, you know, get out of their rut because they've just gotten into these routines where they're doing the same thing over and over and over again. And they're just not really taking it to another level. Um, and you have to get out of that. You have to get out of that rut. You have to get out of that, that, uh, that same routine there. You don't have to do a million dollars this year. Okay. And if you're doing a million dollars this year you don't have to do 10 million next year right it's not about the money it's not about the number of transactions or it's it's not about any of that at all it's about taking where you are and just adding a little bit to it learning becoming more efficient maybe you're adjusting or tweaking a little something to become more efficient more scalable right producing more in less time i think you guys realize that i am a one-man production crew <laughs> like i've got i'm on four different platforms right now okay i'm i'm recording this on another camera and I don't have a crew to do this this is just me I've set all this stuff up you know I'm, I'm shooting videos I'm selling a hundred properties a year I'm coaching I'm traveling I'm speaking I'm posting on all platforms every day um, so you guys can probably sit back and and realize that I've become really good at learning how to produce more in less time and so then I don't take that extra time and just do nothing. No, I'm, I'm learning how to do more and less time so that I can take this extra time and do even more <laughs> where you multiply production because everyone hits the brick wall. So that's the first thing you need to know about this is that everyone hits these walls. This is completely common. This is part of the process. This is something that everyone's going to go through. You are no better than anyone else. It's kind of like making cold calls. A lot of people say, I'm scared to make calls. So I'm not going to make calls. Yeah, everyone is scared to make calls the first time they do it, but the real winners, they move forward with it. They just break through that fear and they say, you know what? I'm going to do this because this is what's going to cause my family to live their, their best life. And I want my family to live their best life. So I'm going to do this. You know, it's totally common to be scared to make calls in the beginning. It's totally uh, common to run into frustrations in the business. Okay, it's totally common to, to, to hit these walls and to become frustrated and disappointed. We didn't get into real estate to be stressed out and have high anxiety and worry about deals and worry about inspections and this, that, and the other. Don't quit worrying about that stuff. I want you to be happy. Two things, I want you to be satisfied with where you are and I want you to get better every day. I want you to work on getting better every day. Just a little bit better. Learn something new, tweak something you're doing, get a little better. So listen, there's been plenty of times I've hit brick walls. And listen, when, when I hit the brick wall when I lost everything back in 2005, when I sold my last condo in January of 2005 before I got back into roofing mid, mid 2005, eventually landed a job on an oil in 2007 the entire year of 2007 now that was a that was a <laughs> that wasn't a brick wall because I got back in the business but but that was a heck of a road bump and a lot of uh, people would have threw in the towel right then a lot of people would have threw in the towel right then but I didn't I didn't know that I was gonna get back in real estate I'll be honest with you on that I'll be dead honest I didn't know I was gonna get back into real estate um, but you know the the good Lord and um, you know fate and destiny and you know everything just kind of led me right back into the business Business. And I, I just think I had a lot of unfinished business, right? I just, a lot of unfinished business. I wasn't going to let this business take me out like that. I sold four properties my first year. I made like $20,000, something like that. You made 30, you made more than me in my first year and you're depressed because your goal was 150,000 when really you're set up now to actually make that 150 your second year. It's crazy. The expectations that you guys are setting and the pressure you're putting on yourself and the anxiety that you're instilling is unreal and completely unnecessary, completely unnecessary. Stop doing this guys. 
Stop focusing on the results and how much money you make and what transaction number is and start focusing on giving it all you have every day to contact as many people as you can and get just a little better. Get a little better at communication. Get a little better at efficiencies with processes of going through the transaction. What you're delegating. Get better at delegation. Right, giving, handing off certain tasks to open your time up to be more efficient. There's a busy season and there's a slow season. There's a season where a lot of people are buying, everything's busy, and then there's this slow season where it's slower. For us down here, it's normally summertime, spring and summer are the busier, and in the winter, it's slower. Some places are the complete opposite. Okay, so I don't know you guys' as individual markets, but the fact is is that there's a slow period and, and a busy season. And what I was doing, this is what I was doing up to the point that I decided to make a change. And this is the first thing I want you to realize if you wanna take your business to another level. Let's play the seasons. Write that down. This is, this is one massive point I wanna to make to you that I think you can use to take your business to the next level. Let's play the seasons. What I think a lot of you are doing is doing the same activities all year long. But the seasons, all right, the buying season and the slow season are changing throughout the year. But you are doing the same exact activities regardless of what season it is. What you need to do, what I would love for you to do, what I wanna help you do, is realize that there are different seasons and we need to recognize when these seasons are and we need to adjust what we're doing on a daily and weekly basis. I make more calls in the slow season than I was before. I build my database up to the point where now I feel this busy season coming, I quit doing the calls and now I'm just riding the wave of this explosion of business. And then as that wave crashes and starts to flatten out and it, we get back into the slow season, now I'm right back on the phone and I wanna do the whole process over again. And what happens is, is as you make these relationships, you're accumulating. You are accumulating relationships. You're accumulating business. You're accumulating clients. And so as you're accumulating clients, those clients aren't going anywhere. Yes, some people may unsubscribe. Yes, you may have a, people use a different agent or whatever. That's just part of it as well. I mean, the entire premise of building any business is literally taking the population, putting your content and putting your you know, services in front of them, and then consolidating down and, and, and finding that concentrated group of the population who want to do business with you, who love you, who who can't you know who can't get enough of you, who really want to see you do business with you, um, associate with you, all the above. All right, and every plan that I put in place was around how can I help more people okay so don't get it twisted with how I'm talking about money right here that was a personal goal that had nothing to do with my goals to help as many people as possible the money part showed me that I was helping more people all right so if I made a million dollars I know I helped a lot of people that was what it was that was what it was for me looks like I'm gonna make 600 again became deeply 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 frustrated you know, I'm working the seasons. I did my calls in the off season. I made my database bigger. So, so theoretically, with creating a bigger database in the off season, I should make more income this year. But no, it looks like I'm gonna make 600 again. What's going on here? So then I went into a deep dive personal development stage where I researched all the top agents. I was researching agents that were, you know, selling a billion dollars a year, selling 500 million a year, selling 200 million a year. I was reading about them. I was reading books. I was watching videos. I was listening to podcasts. I was trying to figure out every little thing I could possibly figure out about why I can't do this. And through all that research, it finally landed, landed me to hire a coach. Okay. And that was the, that was the one and only coach I ever hired because I was that desperate to really get to the next level. And I realized that I was gonna make 600 again and I didn't care, that I was happy with the 600. I was happy with the 600 because I knew that the 600 was my full potential because I was giving complete 100% effort. I was giving everything that I had uh, to make that 600. And, and because I knew that that was all I had, I was gonna yield the highest results possible for me. And at that point, you have to be happy with whatever those results are because you can't control the results. So I had to understand that you can't control the results. You can only control your actions and your efforts. And that was a huge, huge, huge thing for me. The very next year, I made 750. That was 2016. I didn't even make a million the next year. It was a 750 year, but it was better. It was better than 600. 
And then the next year, 2017, was the first year I hit the million. And I've hit a million every year since. Making a great first impression on people and they get that feeling. When, when people get that first impression from you and they feel like, man, this person really cares. This person really, you know, it seems like a hard worker and it, it, it seems dependable and honest and professional, you know, this is, this is a, this is a great, this is a good guy. This is a good guy or good girl. When they get that feeling from you after that first conversation, and then you can take their data and you can start to hit them on a consistent basis. I love the weekly email and they see your name. What happens every time they see that email, they get that feeling again. They get that feeling again uh, that they had the first time. They're like, Oh, there's that Ricky. There's, there's Ricky again. There's that great guy. There's that great guy. I'm, I'm gonna use him. I'm gonna use him as a real estate agent when I get ready to buy or sell. Um, I, I'm sure it's gonna be a great experience. He's just a good person, right? He works hard, he cares about people. He does what he says he's gonna do, he's consistent. You wanna create these great first impressions. You wanna collect that data and you wanna build your database, ladies and gentlemen, because that's gonna dictate the amount and the size of your income. You can't stop building the database until you hit the income you wanna hit, right? It wasn't like the beginning of 2017 I quit doing everything. No, it was the end of 2017 that I quit doing everything after I actually hit the million dollars. Then I'm like, okay, now I can let my database make me that million dollars every year. So I've made some really um, good points in my opinion here about working through the slow seasons, working the seasons, building the database, okay? I've made some really good points about how to stair-step your income every year, okay? If you're in a rut, I can tell you right now, chances are you're not adding anyone to your database on a consistent basis. And th these are just facts, right? And, and you know, I'm not gonna stereotype everyone, it's, it's completely on an individual basis. You think so much faster than it took me, but, but hardly any of you are taking advantage of it. Just give, me, just give me two to three to four hard years. Create five new relationships with, with property owners every day for four years and tell me you're not the number one agent. You create five new relationships with property owners every day, voice to voice followed by a weekly email on the same day of the week forever for four years and tell me you're not the number one realtor in your market. I would love for you to, to go through that process and tell me you're not number one. It's not gonna happen. You're gonna be number one.